select an audio object and double click to open the object editor. This is the default view and it's split into three sections divided by tabs. We have the object effects tab, the position fades tab, and the pitch shifting time stretching tab. There is also a mini view showing just the essentials. Ticking max opens the maximized view. This gives you access to all of the object editor parameters in one window. It's important to understand that every audio object inherently has its own object editor. You can have one object editor for one complete length of audio, or you can chop that longer piece of audio into shorter clips and process those individual clips. You can then enjoy real-time FX processing using discrete object editors. No rendering is required. The beauty of this is that CPU processing of the object effects will only take place when that object is playing. I will be showing you some examples of this real-time processing and the power that it affords in this series of videos. For this guided tour, I will be using the object editor mainly in tabbed mode. Parts 1 to 7 will show the functions related to the object effects tab. Parts 8 to 16 will explain the position fades tab. Then parts 17 to 19, the pitch shifting time stretching tab.